Hi, how's everybody doing? Yeah, you all okay? I really do hope so. Really do hope so, because I know there's a load of stuff going on in the community at the moment. Um, some serious bad juju, man, um, going on, going down at the moment in the community. Uh, people people are taking breaks and that and, and stopping their accounts left, right and centre, which uh, I just hope that they come back. That's all I can say. Because the people that are taking breaks at the moment are some fantastic people. They are, it could be only described as pillars of the this community. Literal pillars of this community. <clears throat> and uh, I'm sure there's going to be some people out there that are going to say, literal? Literal? Are they literally pillars? Yes, they are. They're big white things that's like hold up a roof or some kind of awning. Yes, they're literally pillars of the community. Um... But no, uh, seriously though, uh, I really do hope that everyone comes back and everything starts to calm down. And people remember the reason why we're doing this video, these videos. It's because we all like comic books. Nay, love comic books. Okay, that's the reason why we're all here for. We're not here to make money. We're not here to get famous. We're not here to get stuff or anything. All we're here to do is to have a share our mutual admiration. Of a literary, literary media that is possibly one of the best, if not one of the oldest, literary medias out there, anywhere, ever. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the serious part done. Um, <clears throat> I, I was thinking, uh, it's, it's not really sort of like a vloggy sort of thing. I've got, I. <sighs> I know some people have started doing vlogs, and I, start, I know some people do vlogs, you know, and quite frankly, I haven't got anything to, to vlog about. I literally, I've said this before, I literally get up, I go to work, I come home. If there's a parcel on the, the mat waiting for me, it's like, great, comics! Um, hopefully it's not, oh, shit, bills. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I really don't have anything to vlog. Um, no, not really. Don't think so, no. I've got to give um, Kirby the ferret a run around in a minute, so this is going to have to be a quick one. So if you uh, hear any scratchings or bangings or sounding like somebody, like a prisoner trying to get out of their their, their cell, then that's Kirby, because he, he wants to have a run around. Yes, mate. Bear with us. Go and have something to eat and have a, have a drink and go to the toilet or something. I'll be there in a moment. Uh, yes, anyway. Oh, hello, girls. Yes, sorry, the girls are looking dejected as well. Hello, Ivy. Hello, Holly. All right. Yes. Yes, you're on video. Yes, you are. Yes. Okay. Wait. Okay. I think everybody's happy now. Are you happy? Good. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna call this, and you'll probably find out by the time you see this video. In any case, I'm gonna call this video "Free Comic Day." Free Comic Book Day Two. <clears throat> I was gonna do it in my movie voice, but oh, let's have it again. Free Comic Book Day Two. Uh, <laughs> In a world gone mad. One man stands alone. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to call this Free Comic Book Day because I've got Free Comic Book Day comics. Uh, which, unfortunately, I had to pay for. <coughs> I know, it sort of defeats the object of Free Comic Book Day, I know, but... <coughs> I, I, I bought them off of eBay from um, a company on there called A Place in Space. Okay, and anybody who gets anything from there, just mention my cha YouTube channel and say that I sent you. Yeah, and I might I might actually get get some free stuff off them. You never know. At least an email to say thank you for you know letting, letting people know that we're here, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, A Place in Space on eBay, and I think they've got their own. Website. They might have their own website as well. Check it out just in case. I haven't checked it out myself. I just go on eBay personally. Uh, and I, I've done this the last two free comic book days. Uh, the first time I did this was because I was off doing pagany things um, on free comic book day. And I vowed never to do such a thing ever again on free comic book day. <sighs> um, much to the discontent of my, my girlfriend. But there you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I um, I ended up getting some free comic book day comics that I'd missed out on on free comic book day. I don't think it was three years ago. I think it was longer than that. Must have been. 
I don't know, it might have been three years. Anyway, that's beside the point. Sorry, I'm going on a tangent here. Uh, <clears throat> and ever since then, I'll go to my local comic shop on free comic book day and I'll pick up the free comics that they are willing to give me at that time. And then I, um, I then go onto the internet and say, right, what have I missed? What was there that come out on free comic book day that I totally missed? <coughs> Excuse me. And I, I want to get because I want to read. Um, <coughs> this year, there was a fair few, actually. Uh, I can get them in some kind of order. Uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you the oversized things because I, I want to put them up here because they look nice. Uh, the first one is the Mouse Guard and Rust um, Arkea free comic book day comic. Yeah, there's the Mouse Guard one. And then you flip it and you got the Rust one. Now, I'll admit I haven't actually had a chance to read these yet, even though they turned up Saturday. I've just been so busy doing stuff. Um, <laughs> not, if, not, not even, well, I suppose what I did on Saturday was fairly interesting, but I don't know if I can talk about that because it had something to do with the girlfriend and, you know, I'd have to, t I'd have to square it with her first if I can say anything about that. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I, I was very busy over the weekend, but nothing I can either talk about nor anything interesting. Not necessarily the thing that I can, can't talk about wasn't interesting, just the other stuff that I did on the weekend wasn't interesting. Um, but anyway, I was busy, anyway, to say the least. <clears throat> and uh, so I didn't have a chance to read these. But yeah, if this is anything like the free comic book day mouse guard book book that you got last year, this is going to be really good. And I, I want to get more of these, quite frankly. I said it, I remember saying it last year, and nothing transpired. Um, and I, I, I really do, really do love the look of this. I mean, the artwork in these things are absolutely gorgeous, and uh, it, 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 it all, all revolves around mice and around the time of the seventeen hundreds, I think it is. Let's have a little look. <clears throat> it's actually taking it out of plastic. Um, I think it's because each each story arc has got a. Um, sorry, the eleven eleven hundreds, the the twelfth century, eleven hundreds, and um, each story has got a date rather than an actual title. Um, I mean, you have got the main title of the story, but each what each chapter in that story has got a date rather than a title, <coughs> which is gr brilliant. And I'm not quite sure how many issues or how many trades there are of mouse guard or how far back it back it goes i really need to do some homework on that but it looks really nice um i haven't had a chance to look at rust yet but uh i'll admit it does look a bit like the iron giant to me which isn't a bad thing i like the iron giant i like it a lot it's a good good um good book and a good uh, good animated movie as well so uh yes i shall be looking forward to looking at uh this one this one I already had. I had two of these in my grubby little mitts on free comic book day. One I gave away to my butter one, Adam. Yes, I know another Adam, um, whose channel is around. Um, I'm sure he'll comment in the comment section below when you see my butter one uh, <coughs> comment on the comment section below. Click on his, his, um, his link and you'll be able to get to his channel. Real nice guy, fantastic bloke. Um, yeah, so I gave him one of these, and then I managed to pick up another copy, and I thought to myself, let's have a look on eBay and see if I can get another copy. And lo and behold, I could for 99p. Uh, <clears throat> so I decided to get a copy off of eBay, and then I gave my second copy of this to a friend of mine who didn't have a chance to go to Free Court Book Day. Uh, so I thought, okay, well, I, I picked up a couple of comics in any case for him so he can have a, a look at some free comics. And I also picked this up for him as well. And finally, I've got another copy of it. And it's 2000 AD. Which is great, because I think they've done it. They've done this for three years, I think. And I've got all all three free comic book day uh, magazines of this so far. <coughs> and I, I think more I can really say it. 48 pages. Um, yeah, 48 pages 
a free comic. How great is that? Uh, I will I will say uh, my a place in space, um, which is where I got these from. Yes, they charged me ninety nine p for each comic of free comic book day, but they were all bagged. The ones that could be boarded were also boarded as well, <clears throat> and the um, sorry, my mobile phone going off. The um, packaging they sent the the comics in. You could have let a thermonuclear bomb go off next to them, and uh, it wouldn't have damaged the comics at all. Well, for I reckon, okay, maybe a little bit of an overstatement. Exaggeration there, but <coughs> why not? <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I've I actually saw places on free comic book day. In fact, I saw one place, and I can't remember where it was. Where where it was? It was on eBay, but I can't remember the name of the place. And they were charging three pounds. I can't remember if it's twenty five or seventy five. Either way, over three quid for a free comic book day comic. Now. 99p as long as the comics arrive to you in good condition and they're bagged and back, backed and everything, you know, I've got no problem paying 99p for a comic that should rightfully be free, you know, um, 99p I reckon justifiable including for the price and that, uh, £3 plus for a comic that you should be getting for free is just daylight robbery and a rip off quite frankly, and those people who tried to sell those comics. Now, Free Comic Book Day's gone, and it's been a, near enough a week since it's happened, week or week or two weeks since it's happened. <coughs> Fine. Sell them, sell them for as much as you want to try and get them for. But to sell them on the day, or even before the day, for over three quid, is just diabolical, quite frankly. And that, that company on eBay should be ashamed of themselves, really, if you ask me. Personal, personal opinion. But anyway. Um, anyway, back to the comics. Uh, I'm really glad I managed to pick these two up. Really, really glad I managed to pick these two up. It's the Valiant 2013 Free Comic Book Day comic. There you go. And it's the uh, Who Will Survive Harbinger War. Harbinger War, sorry. I keep on calling it Harbinger. And people are going, it's Harbinger. 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 No, Harbinger. Oh, okay. Harbinger. Uh, but this has got some brilliant <clears throat> brilliant little teasers in it you've got a fantastic poster in the middle of it yeah, right like like a real I'm going to take that out and put it up <coughs> and you've got bits on here from Exo Man of War Harbinger Wars uh, preview do and the little teasers you've got in here arms for Archer and arms from zero uh, Quantum and Woody, yes, brilliant. Do you know, I never read any of the original Quantum and Woody series, but I just cannot wait for this to come out. Really can't. It looks brilliant. Um, and what what else we have is, by the looks of it, an ongoing Eternal Warrior series, which obviously we know is coming out because if you saw Excalibur Brits podcast on Sunday, just gone, you know that Eternal Warriors is gonna Eternal Warrior is gonna be a ongoing series uh, in the summer uh, this year uh, you've also got a return of hard corpse which is also going to come out in the summer this year uh, a ninjack series is going to be coming out as well and in the winter of this year it looks like we have a crossover which is the new unity crossover now anybody who used to read the old valiant will know that there was a, there was a crossover in the original valiant universe called unity and that literally united all of the comic comics that were out at that time from Valiant, be they present day comics, past comics, or comics set in the future like uh, Magnus Robot Fighter and uh, Ray in the Future Fighters and those sort of things. Um, and uh, yeah, we completely brought the whole universe together, which was a brilliant, brilliant uh, little series that was. So yeah, really happy I got that. Also very happy that I got was the Valiant Masters free comic book day comic. <clears throat> it's the showcase edition edition. And it's got bits of the old old series in there. You've got uh Ninjak, uh, which has got artwork by Cho Joe Cosado. 
uh, Shadow Man with artwork by Dave, David Latham. Eternal Warrior. And... Ray, as in Ray in the Future Force. <coughs> Although it was originally called Ray, wasn't it? Yeah, it was originally called Ray. R-A-Y, as in... Oh, look at that. That was the sort of artwork that they were playing with in... In Valiant, the original Valiant run in the 90s. Really nice. I noticed, I noticed now whether it's just people being trolls or whether it's actually people who really did not like Valiant comics in the 90s. But it seems to be a... Now Valiant are actually making a name for themselves. It seems to be an awful lot of people come popping out of the woodwork saying, oh, Valiant, when they first came out, was shit. They couldn't have been that shit. They went on for about... They ran for about eight years, I think. It was eight, nine years before they ended up having to shut down because they went bankrupt. Not because they weren't selling comics, but because there was weird stuff going on. <coughs> From what I I've understand and what I've read on the internet, anyway. Um, so, yeah, really happy with them. These two, I'm really happy with having. Um, goodness knows how long I'm going to be in this video for. I was hoping for about 20 minutes, but obviously I've yammered on. So. Um, but anyway, I've, I'm really happy I've got these. This is possibly one of the only Simpsons comic I actually get every year. And it's the Bongo Comics free-for-all ones that they bring out. I love the Simpsons TV show. I really do. I've got every single episode in one format or another around here. Um, and I absolutely love love the Simpsons. I love Futurama as well. I've got some of the, the Bongo Simpsons and Futurama comics you've seen on videos I've done and, and uh, the Excalibur Brits podcast. I've got the, the Simpsons Futurama and the Futurama Simpsons crossovers, both miniseries of that. Um, absolutely brilliant but I don't get the Simpsons comic I just don't I don't I don't know what it is I don't know why maybe if I had the money I might do but seeing as they're on issue 200 now um, I don't think I'm going to be getting any back issues of that but, but yeah this is this is one one Simpsons comic that I'm guaranteed to get every year probably because it's free yeah. <clears throat> and and this one I just wanted to get because I absolutely love the cover it is so great. Uh, it's the Ugly Doll comics for free comic day. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant cover. Love it. I'm loving it. I love it. I love it. <coughs> Obviously an homage to Action Comics number one. Even with the, the whole colour scheme and the way the, the lettering and everything is done, it is a complete homage to Action Comics number one. Brilliant. Really looking forward to that. The only worrying thing is it's got Hello Kitty and Pokemon in it. Um, and something called Mamashiba, which sort of looks familiar, but I don't know. But yeah, brilliant. There's only a few comics I missed. Uh, from Free Comic Book Days, which I'm still trying to get my hands on. Uh, there was the <clears throat> Judge Dredd Judge Dredd case file from IDW, which I just can't get it um, unless I want to pay stupid money for it, which I don't really not at the moment. Anyway. Um, what else is there? Oh, there was the uh, the Steampunk Oz, I think. I've got a list. Of, we've got a list of them somewhere. Uh, yeah, something, something to do with uh, the Wizard of Oz and. Steampunk, which I'm sort of like liking steampunk at the moment. It looks pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> if you don't know what steampunk is, Google it. <laughs> looks really cool. Uh, what else was there? Oh, the Steam Engines of Oz. That was it. The Steam Engines of Oz I wanted to pick up. The Tick. Oh, I love The Tick. Again, it's one of those comic books that I just don't get. I've got, I'm sure, somewhere up there, I have got, yeah, in fact, I can see it. There it is, right up there, next to the multicolored mushroom and sort of that way from Galactus, if you can see him. <clears throat> now, I've got the Tick series, the series that they, they put out in a long time ago now. Um, I've got that. Um, and it, I feel like I should be reading the Tick comics, and I feel like I should have some of the Tick comics, but I just don't have any of them. Uh, I think it's just one of those things I'm going to have to see about picking up eventually over a period of time 
when I obviously get some money. <laughs> These things happen. Uh, what else is there? Uh, da, 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 da. I think that was about it, actually. Um, yeah. Oh, and the the Star Wars and Captain Midnight one. I couldn't get my hands on unless I was willing to pay stupid money for it. So um, I'll wait until they go down in price, probably on eBay, and see if I can pick them up relatively cheap. Uh, <clears throat> so look, what have I got here? Some comics that I've picked up over the weeks, and you'll have to excuse me if I've showed you these two. I definitely, I don't think I've shown you those two. Two of these I might have already shown you. I'm blaming medication. Um, I'll go anyway. Uh, Harbinger, 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 number twelve. Yeah, can't remember if I showed you guys that one already. But anyway, yeah, really, it's Valiant. They're doing great stuff over there. And seriously, if you're not buying stuff from Valiant, seriously, pick it up because it is doing some amazing stuff. Uh, and the artwork in there as well is just absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, each issue does look completely different. <clears throat> seriously, it does. Uh, what have we got? We've got Archer and Armstrong, Zero. With the not so secret secret origin of um, Armstrong and his brothers, the Eternal Warrior and the Time Walker, <clears throat> and it it is really Armstrong turning around to Archer and saying, "How oh, you're reading Gilgamesh? Oh yeah, right, yeah. Um, well, that's not actually how it happened. Uh, I'll tell you exactly how Gilgamesh happened." <laughs> And, uh, yeah, if you don't know what Galgamesh is, seriously, re Google it, read it, if you can. It's a brilliant story. <coughs> there you go. Uh, what else have we got? We have got, from Dark Horse Comics, again, another comic book company that is, it's been around for ages, but it just seems to be putting out such amazing stuff at the moment. And this is the re reimagining, retelling, I hate to say the word rebooting, I don't think it is, but the, yeah, they're, they're redoing the character X. There you go, and I think this is, I think this is the, um, the uh, gatefold cover, gatefold wraparound cover. There you go. Gorgeous painted cover there. Absolutely brilliant. And this is, I'm really enjoying this comic. It It is seriously violent. It is seriously, seriously violent. <coughs> it would be, if I had to describe it as anything, it would be how I would imagine Batman would have been if they had brought Batman out, the Batman from the 1930s from Detective Comics number 27 if they'd have brought him out in now that is how violent this is yeah, because Batman when he first, first came out he was violent, he was a lot more violent than he is now, a hell of a lot more violent than he is now, it's just obviously in those days, you know, you couldn't really show much <clears throat> but yeah, you've got it. You've got X going in, he's He's shooting people. He's throwing knives at people and stabbing them in the hand. Then, then grabbing hold of them and literally ripping their arm off, their hand off where the the hand's being stabbed. Um, and then using their head as a battering ram to to open up a door. <coughs> um, yeah, and that's just what he does to one guy in this in this comic book. Yeah, it is it is a, a, a very violent comic, but it is a really good read as well. Take away the violence and it is still a really good read. And like I said, it's it's how I would imagine Batman from the nineteen nineteen thirties from Detective Comics twenty seven. And that how I would imagine Batman would have been create you know written if he was brought out from then, brought out now. Really good. <clears throat> And finally, I know all your all your butt cheeks are probably saying, thank Christ for that. Oh, jeebus, thank you. Um, I don't have to sit down anymore. I can get up and go for a walk. <coughs> I love this issue. And I like the like the, the cover as well. 
and it's Avengers number 11. A brilliant issue. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, the Avengers, or rather Captain Marvel, Spider-Woman, Black Widow, uh, Cannibal, Cannibal, Cannonball, uh, Sunspot, 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 it is Sunspot, isn't it? I'm sure it's Sunspot, yeah. And Shang-Chi have to go to Hong Kong <clears throat> because AIM are looking to buy a, a new or sell a new kind of biological weapon to buy, buy a new kind of biological weapon and they have to go in undercover and this is just great absolutely brilliant you've got spider woman uh, spoilers just in case spoilers uh you've got spider woman and black widow arguing over how they're going to get information from you know, the, the 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 people from aim you've got Captain Marvel doing amazing stuff on the, the tables and winning everything. <clears throat> You've got uh, Cannonball and Sunspot literally just getting drunk and having a good time with three AIM, AIM agents. And then you've got Shang-Chi who just goes in, gets into a fight, gets the information and gets the thing that he needs to get and then gets out again. And the other Avengers come along, and I won't spoil it for you. Um, but yeah, it, it is. Uh, all right, uh, that's the end of the spoiler. Okay. Um, yeah, it is a brilliant, brilliant comic. Absolutely brilliant. Love it. The, the the whole the whole story of it actually reads a lot like the old Master of Kung Fu, um, <clears throat> Master of Kung Fu stories that you used to get in the seventies, and. Obviously, there's a bit more humour in it when you've got Cannonball and Sunspot. And uh, if anything, the rest of the Avengers are there for the more for the comic relief than anything else in this comic. But that's what makes this really good. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, this this is definitely the, Hickman's run on the Avengers has been brilliant so far. This is just a, the jewel in the crown, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm hoping that it goes further. He, he can get he can do even better than this because this is just oh a brilliant single single story issue so yeah <clears throat> that's enough of my fawning over that um yeah that's it no more comics to show you really uh i have no idea if i'm going to do any more videos anytime soon because i don't know if i'm going to be getting any more comics uh i've got loads of things planned and such so i'm i won't be going on hiatus or anything like that anytime soon um uh, as long as I can get my ass off the sofa and plug in my camera and everything. <laughs> That's more to do with anything else. As long as I don't fall asleep on the sofa, in fact. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's the comics that I've picked up. Free Comic Book Day 2. Yes, it should happen every second Tuesday after Free Comic Book Day. I think. That'd be great. Two Free Comic Book Days. <laughs> One, you know, you get Free Comic Book Day and then you get Free Comic Book Day 2 where the comic, comic, comic shop just go... There's all the comments we couldn't get rid of. That was helpful to people. Um, so anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you, everybody. Everybody for subscribing. Uh, as I said, I've got something in the pipeline for my 400 subscribers video. And I've got something very special, hopefully, for my 500 subscribers special. So if I can get another 50, no, another 40, 44 subscribers, to this channel that's great if you know anybody out there who hasn't subscribed to this channel and you want to know what's going to happen on my 400 subscribers video or what i'm going to do for that video then get them to subscribe to my channel you know it's all good laughs all about comics and that um and if you if you know anybody who hasn't subscribed to my channel you haven't subscribed to my channel yourself uh the subscription bars down here somewhere i think around about there uh then <clears throat> feel free to subscribe and like i said something Hopefully something special will be happening on my 500th subscribers video. Oh, well, that'd be great. Uh, yes, if you want to comment, then please do. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section down here. Okay. Uh, if you thumbs up the video, that is brilliant. That means you like the video. You like me. You really like me, um, which is fantastic. Uh, but if you decide you don't like this video for whatever reason, then feel free to thumbs it down. I don't care. You've watched my video. You've given me the view and you know, the viewing figures I want. 
you see thumbs it down you thumbs it down uh but if you do thumbs it down then please please do the do the decent thing do the do the do the mature thing and and comment and say why you have thumbs down the video so that then everybody knows and me inclusive will know uh exactly why you did thumbs down the video and then you never know i might be able to make these videos a bit better i doubt it but you never know it's change of things have happened at sea <clears throat> so yeah i've got a very bouncy not necessarily irate but yes definitely bouncy ferret that i need to uh need to chuck around and run around with and everything so um i shall see you guys later remember enjoy what you're doing enjoy the comics that you're reading if somebody else doesn't like the comics that you're reading and you like them don't stop reading them because they don't like them carry on reading them and if you're enjoying doing stuff like making videos on youtube don't stop making them because some jackass decides they're gonna be a complete prat and say something stupid or do something stupid because if you do then they've won basically so yes i will leave you with that thought ta-ta for now